Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started Recoding is on Patreon and buy me a coffee make a small contribution or donations to help us grow our medium We still offer free content on YouTube and other writing platforms. Also don't worry there are other ways to support us. Share us on Facebook, Twitter and other social media formats with your friends and ask them to subscribe. The links are inside the description box. In this video we are going to learn to build a network graph in a React app using React Graph Visualization Library. This library helps us to create a better visualization using different types of network graphs. And there's a lot of customization options also available so users can be able to make more customization according to their preferences. Our final app looks something like this. Here we can see that the data of the World Cup football players to which country they belong and which league team they played for. So let's start building this app. First Let's learn some basics of how this extension works. Then we go to our final app. This is the web page of this library. Here, just copy the npm install command. We have already created the React app open, so let's just open the editor. Open the terminal and paste this code inside the terminal. This will install the library inside the project. Now, in app.js file, delete the boilerplate code. Inside the source directory, create a directory called components. Create a graph.js file inside the component directory. Create a functional component and import React library. Then import the graph library from the project. Inside the div tag, create a graph tag which is provided by the graph library. This contains all the necessary attributes that are required to create a network graph. First attribute is the option object. This will take the data from the user. Another will be the options which will help to change the visual aspect of the graph. Above the return statement, create two constants of a graph and the option. and pass both of these constant into the graph tag. Now inside the graph constant, add two more parameters. One is the node which is unique for every element inside the graph. The nodes are in the form of an array of object and each object will have an ID and label required. There are other data we could provide inside each node which we will see later in this video. The another one is the edge which will tell the graph to connect the node from and to which node users want. The edge is also an array of objects and each object takes from and to parameter. Then add height inside the option constant. This will set the view height of the graph view. Now inside the app.js file, add the graph view tag and import the graph view from the components file. Now let's make more node. Let's make each node with a unique ID. Also add edge detail on how you want to connect each node to and node from. Here we can see that a node has appeared which we have created. Inside the options add the edges parameter and set the color of the edge to yellow. Also add an interaction parameter and change the navigation button parameter to true.
Here we can see that the navigation button has appeared and is working fine. Now, if you want to add a tooltip to each node, you can use the title parameter and string, which you want to show the tooltip when the user hovers its cursor over the node. Add titles to all the nodes. Here we can see the tooltip has appeared. If you want to change the shape of each node and you don't want the default oval shape, you can change it by using the shape parameter and type the name of the shape you want to show. You will get the list of parameters inside the documentation of the plugin. Here we can see that we have to change the shape of each node. Let's change the background color of the app by simply opening app.css file and add body tag and change the background color. Also add a container class. Add these attributes. Inside the graph.js file, add the class name attributes and add the container class inside the div tag. Here in the edges parameter, we have typed edges by mistake. That's why we are not getting the connection arrow between the nodes. Also add minimum height to 100 view height. So here we can see our nodes and edges have appeared and it looks pretty good. We can also change the border width of nodes and change its size by changing the options of nodes. We can also add the color of the border and background. And also change the font color. Here we can see the change of colors inside the nodes. Let's add more edges to each node. So we can see that each of our nodes has been connected. Now we can also customize edges by changing their smoothness from straight to curve. We can also enable the arrow head and change its shape using the arrow parameter. Inside the options constant, add shadow and smooth parameter to true. Here we can see the node 1 arrowhead has been changed. Similarly, we can change the arrows of other edges too. We also add highlight color to change when the user selects the node. To 
make the graph not behave physically, we could also turn off the physics of the graph by using physics parameter inside the options. These are some of the features you could use when you create your app using the graph API. For more API of this package, check out the graph visualization website link inside the description box. Now let's work on a final app. To do so, create a new file called data.js inside the components folder. We already have the data pre-filled earlier, so just copy and paste it into the data.js file. Create another file called worldcurve.js which holds the view of the graph. Create a functional component inside it. Import graph from network library. Also import edges and nodes from the data file. Inside the return statement add a div with the class name of the container. Create a data variable object which consists of nodes and edges parameter which is directly referencing our data.js file variables. Then inside it add a graph tag. Add option variable. Inside option object, add shape as dot shape. Set initial scaling and maximum limit of scaling of the graph. Then set the font size and face of the text that appears on the graph view. Add the setting for the width of the edges. Color. Smooth type. and set the physics property to false. Add the edges after the nodes object and not inside it. Add some interaction parameters.
Now add the World Cup components inside the app.js file. And comment on graph view components. Now after saving the file, we can see that a graph has appeared and we can see all the data which are attached using network arrows. You can see that we can easily zoom in and out of the graph smoothly. The app is fast and fluid while showing the data. So this is how we use this library to show data inside the React project. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.